students welcome to civil engineering exam today we are going to see the mcq of fluid mechanics in the topic of fluid kinematics and dynamics so the first question which of the following is the example of laminar flow option a underground flow option b flow past tiny bodies option c the flow of oil in the measuring instrument option d all the above so the correct answer is option d all the above so next question the flow in the pipe is laminar when Reynolds number is option A less than 2000 option B between 2000 and 4000 option C more than 4000 option D none of these so the correct answer is option A less than 2000 so next question so the flow in the pipe is neither laminar nor turbulent when Reynolds number is option A less than 2000 option B between 2000 and 4000 option C more than 4000 option D none of this so the correct answer is option B between 2000 and 4000 so next question the flow in the pipe is turbulent when Reynolds number is option A less than 2000 option B between 2000 and 4000 option C more than 4000 option D none of this so the correct answer is option C more than 4000 so next question the flow in which condition do not change with the time at any point is known as option a one dimensional flow option b steady flow option c streamlined flow option d uniform flow so the correct answer is option b steady flow so next question when the flow parameters at any given instant remain same in every point then the flow is said to be option a steady flow option b laminar flow option c uniform flow option d incompressible flow so the correct answer is option c uniform flow so next question during the opening of the valve in the pipeline the flow is option a steady option b unsteady option c uniform option d laminar so the correct answer is option b unsteady flow so next question uniform flow occurs when option a the flow is streamlined option b size and shape of the cross section in the particular length remain constant option c size and cross section changes uniformly along the length option d flow occurs at the constant rate so the correct answer is option b size and shape of the cross section in a particular length remain constant so next question a flow through long pipe at constant rate is called option a steady uniform flow option b steady and non-uniform flow option c unsteady uniform flow option d unsteady non-uniform flow so the correct answer is option a steady uniform flow so next question which of the following represent the steady uniform flow option a flow through a diverging duct at a constant rate option b flow through a diverging duct at any increasing rate option c flow through the long pipe at a constant rate option d flow through the long pipe at a decreasing rate so the correct answer is option c flow through a long pipe at constant rate so next question the flow of liquid through a tapering pipe at a constant rate is option a steady and uniform option b unsteady and non-uniform option c unsteady and uniform option d steady and non-uniform so the correct answer is option d steady and non-uniform so next question which of the following statement is correct option a in the compressible flow the volume of flowing liquid changes during the flow option b a flow in which the volume of flowing liquid does not change is called incompressible flow option c when the particle rotates about their own axis while flowing the flow is said to be rotational flow option d all the above so the correct answer is option d all the above so next question a yeah, one dimensional flow is one which option a is uniform flow option b is a steady uniform flow option c takes place in straight lines option d involves zero transverse components of the flow so the correct answer is option d involves zero transverse components of the flow so next question continuity equation deals with the law of conservation of option a mass option b momentum option c energy option d none of the above so the correct answer is option a mass so next question an ideal flow of any liquid must fulfill the following option a bernoulli's equation option b newton's law of viscosity option d Pos option c pascal's law option d continuity equation so the correct answer is option d continuity equation 
So next question, the continuity equation dou u by dou x plus dou v by dou y plus dou w divided by dou z equal to 0 is valid for option A, ideal fluid flow only, option B, incompressible fluids, whether the flow is steady or unsteady, option C, steady flow, whether the flow is compressible or incompressible, option D, incompressible fluids and steady flow only. So the correct answer is option D incompressible fluid and steady flow only. So next question the component of acceleration due to non-uniform of flow is called option A normal acceleration, option B tangential acceleration, option C convective acceleration, option D local acceleration. So the correct answer is option C convective acceleration. So next question, local acceleration in fluid flow is due to option A, unsteady nature of flow, option B, non-uniformity of flow, option C, turbulence in the flow, option D, irrotational nature of flow. So the correct answer is option A, unsteady nature of flow. So next question, in case of steady and uniform flow, the total acceleration is option A, constant, option B, variable, option C, zero, option D, never zero. So the correct answer is option C, 0. So next question, during motion, the fluid element is stated to undergo the change in the angle between two adjacent sides when it moves from the one place to another. This type of motion is called option A, linear deformation, option B, angular deformation, option C, rotation, option D, circularity motion. So the correct answer is option B, angular deformation. So next question, in the three dimensional motion of the fluid, the component of rotation about z axis is given by option A half into dou u by dou z minus dou w by dou x, option B 1 by 2 into dou v by dou x minus dou u by dou y, option C 1 by 2 into dou w divided by dou y minus dou v divided by dou z, option D half into dou v by dou y minus dou u by dou x. So the correct answer is option B half into dou v by dou x minus dou u by dou y. So next question, the flow in which each liquid particle has the definite path and their path do not cross each other is called option A one dimensional flow, option B steady flow, option C streamlined flow, option D uniform flow. So the correct answer is option C streamlined flow. So next question, a streamlined flow is a line, option A connecting midpoints of the flow cross section, option B connecting points of equal velocity in the flow field, option C tangent to which at any point derives the direction of velocity vector at the point, option D drawn normal to the velocity vector at any point. So the correct answer is option C tangent to at which any point derives the direction of the velocity vector at any point. Next question. The path traced by the single particle of smoke issuing from the cigarette is option A streamline flow, option B streak line, option C path line, option D flow line. So the correct answer is option C path line. So next question, streamline, streak line and path line are identical when option A the flow is uniform, option B the flow is steady, option C the flow is neither steady nor uniform, option D the flow velocities do not change steadily with the time. So the correct answer is option B the flow is steady. So next question, for a two dimensional flow field, the equation of streamline is given as option A u divided by dx equal to dy by v, option B du by dx plus dv by dy equal to 0, option C dy by u equal to dx divided by v, option D dx divided by u equal to dy by v. So the correct answer is option D dx divided by u equal to dy divided by v. So next question, a streamline and the equipotential line in the flow field are option A parallel to each other, option B perpendicular to each other, option C intersect at acute angle, option D identical. So the correct answer is option B perpendicular to each other. So next question, a stream function option A is defined only for steady and incompressible flow, option B is a mathematical function which has no physical equivalent, option C may not remain constant for the streamline, option D satisfies the Laplace equation for rotational motion. 
So the correct answer is option A is identical only for the steady and incompressible flow. So next question, a yeah, steady irrotational flow of incompressible flow here is called option A streamline flow, option B creeping flow, option C shear flow, option D potential flow. So the correct answer is option D potential flow. So next question, a yeah, velocity potential function exists only for option A steady flow, option B uniform flow, option C irrotational flow, option D compressible flow. So the correct answer is option C irrotational flow. So next question, existence of velocity potential function implies that the flow is option A steady, option B uniform, option C irrotational, option D in continuum. So the correct answer is option C irrotational. So next question, the relation dash for the irrotational flow is referred as option A Euler equation, option B Laplace equation, option C Reynolds equation, option D Cauchy Riemann's equation. So the correct answer is option B Laplace equation. So next question, when a cylindrical vessel containing liquid is revolved, the surface of the liquid takes the shape of option A triangle, option B a paraboloid, option C an ellipse, option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option B a paraboloid. Again we will see next video. Thank you.